Quezon City. Today is Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Jose Carlos Rapadas, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> Precious Savior and your Lord, all the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished death. Through his death and resurrection, Christ has saved us all. We too shall rise in glory if we believe in him. Jesus is risen. Praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness. Life has vanquished death. Members all of God's own household, citizens of Ham. We are no longer strangers, children of God instead. Jesus is risen. Praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness. Life has vanquished them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers in Christ, today we will hear the message of Jesus promising us of his abiding presence through the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this gift of the Holy Spirit is being given to us corporately as a church because we are the recipient and the addressee of the Christian message. Secondly, this abiding promise is given to us as individual members of this church why? Because we are members of His body. And so, in moments that we are confused, in moments that we are in conflict with one another, the Holy Spirit gives us reason to be united as one body of Christ. For the many times we failed to acknowledge the goodness of God in our lives, let us acknowledge this sinfulness and beg the Lord for His mercy and pardon. All together, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and, and in, in what, what I, I have failed, failed to do. do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we, in, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, 
he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at the hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, the Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me. And not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief, has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth. It is better for me that I go. For, I do not, for if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world 
in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father. And you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isang mapagpalang gabi po sa ating lahat, sa ating mga um, attendees dito sa Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word at sa ating mga online attendees. We all have experience separation anxiety. Lahat tayo ay takot na mawalay sa ating mga minamahal. And we feel it when someone or something is separated from us. This irrational fear of being away from the things and people we love. It could be momentary fear of separation. And of course, nandun din yung that separation anxiety becomes a established diagnosed disorder. And when we feel this separation anxiety, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it comes from the depths of our attachment to people, places, things, events, even relationships, and the preconceptions we have of ourselves na ayaw natin i-let go. And when, and when we are in that situation that we are, we are being asked to let go of these people, of these preconceptions, of these relationships, natatakot tayo kasi attached tayo. And aminin natin, people separate because life is not perfect. People separate because relationships are not perfect. And we are here on earth, dito sa napakaikling buhay natin, para perfectohin ang ating mga relationships. So that when we eventually face God at the end of our lives, masasabi natin sa Diyos na ginawa ko ang lahat para maging perfecto. Because I believe, my brothers and sisters, that the worst thing that could happen to us in this world when we die is regret. Takot tayo sa regrets. Takot tayo sa mga bagay na hindi natin na-control nung buhay, nung, nung buhay pa, habang nabubuhay pa tayo. Takot tayong mawala ang isang tao or bagay or hayop o puok o pangyayari sa ating buhay kasi siguro we were not able to express the value of that person, of that significant other. We were not able to say how much we love them. We were not able to say how sorry we, 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 we were when we, uh, we err uh, from them or to them. And lastly, siguro takot tayo kasi hindi natin nasabi na um, magpasalamat sa kanila. Human life is full of regrets, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And in our gospel today, Jesus tells us, uh, Jesus tells us of what we need upon the moment of separation. Pero, the separation of Jesus is definitely different from the separation of human relationships, human persons. Because Jesus tells us that for a person who is going away, it was modest to give assurance to the people that you are going to leave behind that you will be with them. Paano? Because of the Holy Spirit. 
through the Holy Spirit. Secondly, Jesus tells us that upon the moment of separation, the best way to honor the memory of a, of a loved one who is going away is by becoming like him, imbibing his values and virtues. Kung yung ating mga magulang, kung yung ating mga parents ay payak sa kanilang pamumuhay, if they are humble, if they have qualities which we admire the most, the best way to celebrate their lives is to become like them. To be simple like them. To be loving like them. And it is only when we become like them that we honor these people. My sisters and brothers, Jesus tells his disciples that the best way to honor his memory is by becoming his disciples afterwards and being guided by the Holy Spirit. E paano naman tayo, tayong mga buhay pa ngayon? Hindi naman tayo nabuhay sa panahon ni Kristo. We are being invited today to look inward in moments that the world is noisy. Sa mga panahon na napakaingay ng mundo, lahat gustong magsalita, lahat may opinion, lahat may gustong sabihin, the Lord Jesus invites us to look inward. Look at the innermost values that were inculcated for, to us by significant person in our lives. Values of simplicity, values of charity, caring, love, patience, service. Look inward. And the Holy Spirit becomes alive to each and every one of us today every time we listen to our conscience. When we look inward, we will see that the voice of God is alive with our conscience. Pero aminin din natin na sa panahon ngayon, mahirap isipin na meron pa ba tayong konsensya. Kasi sa mga nangyayari natin, we are confronted with moral issues left and right, and without us knowing it, we are not able to give sound moral judgment. Why? Because we are not listening to the voice of God. We are not listening to the promptings of the Holy Spirit anymore. Our catechism tells us that in order for a human person to have a strong conscience, a strong sense of goodness and morality, dapat daw nagbabasa siya ng salita ng Diyos. The formation of conscience takes place when one reads the Word of God because the Word of God becomes the model, the ideal of what is good. And at the same time, at night, before the cross of the Lord, He is able to examine His conscience kung tama ba ang ginawa ko sa araw na ito o hindi. The Word of God will lead us to all truth. Sabi nga sa ating Ebanghelyo. Secondly, according to our catechism, conscience is formed when we listen to the teachings of the church. The stand of the church as regards morality, sexuality, politics, entrepreneurship, honesty, fraternal correction, and lastly, our conscience is formed when we read the lives of saints. Because the saints are men and women who are model of Christian life, model of perfect Christian life. Para sa akin, yung mga santo, they are just, it's like they are, uh, they are books in a library wherein we can choose which book to read 
and will eventually give us knowledge how to decipher the mysteries of God while we are still alive. And so, ito, when we listen to the, word, to the voice of God deep inside us, make sure that this conscience is clear, that it is honest, that it is of God, that it, is, that it comes from God, and not to our own understanding of situations alone. Kasi baka minsan, yung decisions natin, they, they, they come from our needs. They come from our from other influences. They come from our weaknesses, our issues. And you know, when we are able to listen to the voice of God in this way, kapag meron tayong konsensya na matapang, klaro at hindi nakabase sa sinasabi ng iba, I believe that we are we will be able to trust in the in the promptings of the Lord like in our first reading the apostles were able were able to contain the persecutions which they experiences because they listen to the word of God they were able to to do good thing doon sa jailer sa ating first reading because for them their conscience is clear and their mission is clear their life's purpose is clear, and that is to proclaim the word of Jesus Christ to all. Ang gumawa ng mabuti sa kapwa. My brothers and sisters, sana ang, ang matutunan natin sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon, as we reach the, the Ascension Sunday, is that we listen to the voice of God through our conscience. And in listening to our conscience, with Paul, we can say that in Christ, I can do all things because He strengthens me. Amen. Please rise. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper, like himself, to be with us. In every petition we pray, Lord, send us your Spirit. Lord, send us your Spirit, that our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life, we pray. Lord, Lord send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit, that parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care, we pray. Lord, Lord send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit, that we may give our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions, we pray. Lord, Lord, send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit, that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. We pray. Lord, Lord send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. We pray. Lord, Lord send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit, for the most vulnerable in the population, our dear senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, and the poor, that they may be protected from contracting the virus. We pray. Lord, Lord send, send us, us your, your spirit. spirit. In silence, we pray for our other personal intentions. We pray. Lord, send us your spirit. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that in the renewal constantly at work within us, may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, had been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, He proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. To the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, He gave Himself up to death. And rising from the dead, He destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. 
Therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent into the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand, and we await his coming in glory. We offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered together into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice of pray to the praise of your glory. Therefore, O Lord, remember now for all whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, the religious, the missionaries, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those who are gathered here before you, your, in, your entire people, all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a into our heavenly inheritance with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with your apostles and saints in your kingdom there with the whole of creation freed from the corruption of sin and death we may glorify you through christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen.
as one family gathered in the name of Jesus Christ and as we anticipate the coming of the Holy Spirit, let us pray the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. no more bread no more wine but Jesus himself the son of God who takes away the sins the pains the anxieties and the brokenness of the world happy are we who are called in this celebration Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs>
please rise. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us for eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed, disturbed and, and even, even claimed, claimed lives. lives. We, we ask, ask you now, now to look upon us with, with love and by, and by your, your healing, healing hand, hand dispel, dispel the, the fear of sickness, sickness and, and death, death. Restore, restore our hope and strengthen and our faith. faith. We pray, we pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank, we thank you for, for the vaccines, the vaccines developed, developed made possible, possible by, by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and in the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See, see us through this crisis and, and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities and deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Fernando Mitz, pray for us. Please be seated for the announcement. The Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word is currently holding its first online Flores de Mayo and Rosary Prayers on all Saturdays of May at 4 p.m. We are inviting everyone to join this online activity by sending us video clips of you offering flowers to Mama Mary that will be shown during the live stream. Aside from flowers, offering of cash and in-kind donations for our mobile community pantry will also be appreciated. Due to physical limitations, your donations will be offered by the seminarians and other church ministry members who will be present every Saturday. Please check the link bit.ly slash Shrine Flores de Mayo for more details and instructions regarding uploading of your videos and sending of your donations. Make a difference during this time of pandemic through prayers and generosity. Thank you and God bless you all. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go and listen to the voice of God. Thanks be to God. <laughs>